bounce the fuck back have a plan trusting in god of course you just want to plan more that's just the place i'm in right now as soon as you stop fucking with this person blessing on blessing on blessing on blessing on blessing is coming your way god really just want to see how much you're gonna let the enemy deter you i'm on a whole new wavelength i'm ready i'm ready for anything thrown my way admit your wrongs and just apologize and move on it's not out of reach i know you could do it like life is lifing in the best way possible but it's, it's life thing. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Jenna Cuoma and welcome back to my channel. Today I decided that I'm gonna do a Cuoma Chats episode because it's been a hot minute since we've last done one of these and I'm gonna do my makeup, talk to you guys about just different things happening in my life. A lot has been going on to say the least. Who would I be if I didn't update my YouTube family? That is what we're doing today. I'm doing the same old same old makeup. It's not really a tutorial. If you want a tutorial there's plenty on my channel. Also my mirror is right there. Oh my god and there's a freaking fly in here. In this video is going to be me talking about how I'm basically like shedding old skin and becoming new again and just like my journey in myself everybody has that awakening their own journey everybody has their own journey that they go through by the way i did my brows off camera because that would have been half this video so yeah everybody has their own journey that they went through and i feel like my journey has just technically just began like my journey honestly just began and i'm just already so grateful already so abundant i feel i just want to keep this momentum going and by the way i went to the beach a couple well last week and i feel like i look really bronze on camera i don't know people were telling me my like the tan wasn't really tan in person but i feel like i see the tan i feel like i see the tan do you guys see a tan because see a tan i feel like everybody has their own journey and their growth process is different like nobody is the same everybody goes through their own journey their own trials and tribulations and i feel like this year has really tested me and has really shown me that like i could get through anything like anything living this life and living your life really just reminds you that like you only have one life to live you better Oh my god i'm messing up my earrings <laughs> you better make the most of it and don't let certain things just bring you down for long like everybody clearly has like their down days i'm not saying you can never be down because everybody's going to be down but you need to like bounce back bounce the fuck back have a plan and just execute it you know be your best self and whatever that means for you just do it because you're going to be so grateful when you see progress and you see things that you planned on doing like you like literally had a plan started executing it and it's actually working that's no better joy than seeing stuff like that that's just the mood i just been in lately because i really did have a plan hold on i really don't like how these are messing up my earrings and it came out like what i really had a plan i executed the plan i succeeded in my plan and now i could just make new plans and i'm just like very grateful that i'm even able to do certain things like this trusting in god of course because it would never be able for me to do without him so i'm just like wow like one of the things i'm talking about as you guys know i'm in nursing school right I've been in nursing school for four years and you know you always have a plan going into nursing school well not always but like you usually have a plan and my plan was to pass my classes make sure I pass the NCLEX and then get into a specialty that I love or a specialty that I really see growth in and like a specialty that I could like use as a stepping stone so I made that plan when you finally see certain things happening it's just like wow because like my graduation time i don't know if you guys know but i my birthday was right around graduation it's like a couple days away from graduation so i had a blast around that time like, i was on a high i really was on just a high because it's like wow i just graduated nursing school nursing school like that's crazy a lot of people cannot 
fathom even trying nursing school and I feel like what I just did is really amazing and like I keep having people telling me that too like girl you you did your big one with this one like you 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 eat up you eat up and it's almost kind of surreal to me sometimes because I'm just like, damn. Like, Because when you're in it for four years, you're like, okay, I'm going to graduate and it's just going to, you know, I'm going to do what I got to do. But it's like when you actually do it, this fly is going to drive me crazy. I'm going to kill it. <laughs> I'm going to kill it. <laughs> but yeah, um, when you actually finish, when I graduated, I was just like, wow the happiness that comes from accomplishments is like no other like you could be having a horrible week horrible month but if you accomplish something that you've been setting out to accomplish for however long you're going to be happy because i put my mind to this shit bro oh my god it's coming for revenge i put my mind to this stuff and i executed it how i envisioned it and that is honestly so freaking rewarding when you execute things how you envision it and it goes to plan it's like how could you not feel grateful for the position that you're in how could you not know that there's a god how could you not just want to plan more and want to do more for yourself you know and i feel like that's just the place i'm in right now especially graduating like it was just such a happy time for me i really felt like i was just like shedding old skin and becoming a new girl like i'm a new girl i'm a nurse like i'm really a nurse it's crazy not just a bsn not just the bsn because even the bsn it speaks for itself i got a bsn and i'm an rn past that nclex on my first try like you really just have to sit down and really tell yourself you did that shit you did that shit and if you're in that position right now and you're about to take your NCLEX or you just took your NCLEX girl you're the shit regardless of what the outcome is you're the shit because you finished nursing school life just feels so complete nowadays and it's just like i think this is what has been missing from my life is that sense of completeness and also the fact that my birthday was right around graduation is so crazy because it's just like extra skin shedding like it's just like damn i'm turning 22 as well like shit is crazy out here right now i just see so much for myself it makes me emotional to think like you're really doing it like you're really just doing it <laughs> a little scary as well because it's like now you gotta do it you're here you're here this is what you've been planning for this is what you've been praying for i can't wait i just can't wait for like my future and what god has in store for me and another reason why i feel like i'm shedding old skin and getting new skin is because i am releasing toxic relationships from my life i'm rekindling old friendships just having fun and doing what i love to do and i feel like that's just the best thing that you could be doing for yourself because it's like that toxic relationship whether it's a friendship a boyfriend a girlfriend is always going to hinder you whether you want to admit it or not you don't see it in the moment but as soon as you stop fucking with this person blessing on blessing on blessing on blessing on blessing is coming your way because that's god's way of telling you like i told you girl to stop with this person i told you to leave them by the wayside and you kept trying to be their happy place or like you just kept trying to be like someone that you wish other people were to you that's what you keep trying to be to people that are toxic to you you just have such a pure heart it's hard to kind of really hold people accountable that you really really love or you're really really close to they've always been like this can they change you think they could change their ways their mannerisms like i said i'm not just talking about relationships i'm talking about friendships as well but it's just like as soon as you stop fucking with these people and that's what i have decided to start doing for myself especially this summer like i'm not putting up with no more bullshit like i'm not putting up with nobody's bullshit and as soon as i stop putting up with people's bu bullshit guess what's happening flourishing what lotto said flourishing because listen god really just want to just want to see how how much you're gonna let the enemy deter you he's gonna give you those signs he's gonna give you everything that you need to stop fucking with this person or to cut off this person and you are not gonna do it until you're ready honestly but i'm telling you the faster you do that shit the happier you would be not dealing with the person especially now that 
I've graduated nursing school and I'm about to start my big girl job. Like, I don't have time for the toxic mess. I don't have time for the bullshit. I'm on a whole new era. Like, I'm on a whole new wavelength. You can't catch me like how I was before. You can't. You cannot. Cannot trick me. No! Cannot trick me! I'm ready. I'm ready for anything that is thrown my way. And also, like I said, not only am I cutting communication from toxic relationships, I'm also rekindling old friendships that, not dissolved, but old friendships that went away for stupid reasons i'm honestly loving it like it's been really 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 nice actually i saw this post which is so crazy what, what, what was it jordan and kylie jenner were seen out having dinner and people was like how they can never go back to an old friendship like that and that's a little different than what my friendship was like with this person because it wasn't like a public scrutiny or like you know so I low-key kind of understand that part because it's like once she goes public to me, it's low-key. I don't even, I don't think I could ever really like been that. I don't know. <laughs> That's why I don't keep put my relationships out in the public. Like I take my L's in private. I prefer to take my L's in private, honestly. Like you will never see me posting no man until I'm engaged or already about about to be married, honestly, because I would hate to take my L's in public. Like, even friendship debacles too. Like, if we fell out and that shit goes public. I guess with the example I was talking about with Kylie Jenner and Jordan, like, that shit was so public. And it's like, if that were to happen with a friendship that was dissolving for me, I probably wouldn't rekindle that friendship. But this friendship was not like that at all. And I really didn't miss the friendship. And I honestly feel like people should put in the work to resolve certain friendships that you feel like didn't deserve to end in the first place and it does take a lot of communication and effort on both sides like you can't just be one-sided about it but that just goes to show the character of the person that you're trying to resolve your friendship with you know i'm just grateful that i have certain people like that in my life because i'm able to show maturity and just show growth because it really does attest to how much you've grown as a person that you can admit your wrongs and just apologize and move on i've been kicking people out and putting people in so <laughs> I can't wait to get my hair done like is anyone else like obsessed with the first couple days of getting your hair done like i honestly love it and i love my hair right now i always say my locks are my my true form because i feel like i just look the prettiest with these faux locks in like i get the most compliments with these in i look the prettiest with these in they're just so pretty um, but I'm just ready for these to come out at this point. I got the wrong hair for like the wrapping parts. It's not lasting as long as the last um install I got of this. But that's my fault, not the hairstylist's fault, because I needed I got like braiding hair or something and I needed to get like curly hair. Yeah, I'm gonna take this out and then I'm going to be getting my boneless braids boneless bohemian braids I'm excited for that I've never gotten those before and then I can start taking more pictures I'm a picture girl like I have a lot of pictures on my Instagram way more than what is public on my page right now for some reason I don't know this summer I haven't been taking pictures I don't really know what that's about but I want to get back on that because I'll be looking cute it's not like I don't even be looking cute either like I'll be looking cute so I'm I want to get back to diet and back on the topic of growing shedding new skin and getting new skin i also wanted to share that i do have a new grad nurse position i actually got this position before i even graduated it was contingent on if i passed the NCLEX and stuff like that it is an ICU position I'm really excited about that because that is the specialty that I wanted to go into I wanted to do a video about the interview questions and answers that got me into the position because I feel like I really bodied those like mm. yeah I'm just so excited that I got accepted into an ICU position at a really good hospital too that's another reason why I feel like it's God's timing. Everything is just falling into place so beautifully. And I'm so happy. Like, I've never been... Well, let me not say never. But I haven't been this happy with my life, with myself, with my situations. 
in a very long time especially being in nursing school college in general will humble you humble you really quick it's hard to work while you're in school so you're always broke and then like the stressors that come with school it's just like a lot so now that i'm graduated and like i'm in this position and life is just like happening it's just like wow it was all meant to be it was all meant to be and i'm really happy about it I actually take my hospital id picture next week <gasps> what am i talking about i take that tomorrow i take that tomorrow so i will be trying to record how i do my makeup for that and i start in august if god's willing which is crazy it really is actually so crazy how fast time has gone i don't even know what to say like life is lifing in the best way possible but it's, it's lifing i just really hope and pray for everyone watching this that anything that they have been putting their mind to or anything that they've been praying for hoping for wanting to get better at or i just hope it all works out for you i feel like people could just do anything they put their mind to with the proper discipline so go get a girl or boy whoever's watching it's not out of reach i know you could do it but yeah guys i'm just gonna finish this video here because i don't know i don't really have much to say <laughs> i don't have too much to say i just wanted to really just update you guys about you know certain happy times in my life and what's going on so more to come though more to come i'm not mad at the no lashes though like it kind of looks a little cute it looks a little cute but yeah that is the end of this video i just hope you guys are doing well happy in yourselves and your situations not letting anybody play you for idiots or not letting your friends just use you or no, no, no bad things i hope all good things uh catch me in my next one make sure to like comment and subscribe if you like this video or if you like me and i'll definitely see you guys in my next video so